Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on data transformation for skewed distributions using Microsoft Excel. Often in counseling research, we want to use parametric statistics to analyze data, but sometimes these data are skewed, which violates an assumption of many parametric statistics. One way we can compensate for this is to transform data which often adjusts the skewness enough to where we can conduct parametric statistics. These types of transformations are often done in SPSS, and I have a separate video that covers that, but you can also do them in Excel, and I'll demonstrate that here. So in this first worksheet, I have a distribution that is close enough to a normal distribution so that you could apply a wide variety of parametric statistics. So you can see the skewness, which I returned using the skew function in Excel, and the kurtosis with the curt function in Excel, indicate that this distribution, the one representing this frequency distribution, this histogram, is close to normal. The skewness and kurtosis we'd like to see would be zero, of course. And you can see here the skewness is very close to zero. And the kurtosis is negative 0.42, which isn't ideal. But this kurtosis value is within the limit for moving forward and conducting parametric statistics. Kurtosis is generally considered acceptable if it, the value falls between negative 2 and 2 and negative 0.42, of course, falls within that range. So skewness measures the symmetry of a distribution, and kurtosis, how peaked or flat a distribution is. So the focus here would be on skewness, which is very close to zero. So with this data, and this comes from the final exam variable over here, this data for the purposes of conducting parametric statistics is normal. And the way I created this graph, this chart, is by taking each score, and when I know the lowest score is 30 and the highest is 70, so I, I took each score and put it in this column here, name of scores, and then I used a function called the frequency function, which is entered as an array. And I have a separate video that covers that. But what it tells you is the number of times this particular score, for example 30, appeared in this distribution over here. So 30 appeared one time. If you move down a ways, you see 38 appeared five times. And that's reflected in this chart. So let's take a look now at a distribution that is skewed. So I adjusted these data. I'm using the same range of scores and the same formula for frequency. As you can see from the chart, this is a negatively skewed distribution. Uh, you can also see from the skewness value, negative 1.01. .01. So this is a negatively skewed distribution. The tail of this distribution points to the left. If the tail of this distribution pointed to the right, that would indicate it's a positively skewed distribution. So evaluating the skewness and kurtosis values here, the acceptable range for skewness is generally considered to be negative 1 to 1. So this skewness value falls outside that range. And of course, the kurtosis value here falls within the range uh, we're using for kurtosis, which is negative 2 to 2. So the area of focus here for the transformation will be moving the skewness value closer to 0 and into an acceptable range. So moving to this worksheet, log 10, you can see I have a log 10 transformation of the final exam scores. So I'm going to select all the values here using Control shift down arrow and delete them. 
and show you how I generated these values. The values of skewness and kurtosis will show an error because I deleted that and the ranges for the functions are now based on this column. So this particular distribution, so this data set here, final exam variable, is the same data in this negatively skewed distribution. And because it's negatively skewed, I have to use a reflection as part of the log 10 procedure. So if this were positively skewed, I would not have to do that. So if, it was, if, this, if this distribution were positively skewed, to calculate the log 10 would simply be equal sign log 10, that's the name of the function in Excel, and then the value. All right, so that's, that's all you would have to do. You could autofill it down all the way, and that would be the log 10 values for positively skewed distribution. But we're looking at a negatively skewed distribution. So we have to conduct what's called reflection. So it starts off the same way. It's going to be log 10. And now in the parentheses, where it's looking for the number as the argument, you're going to need the maximum value in the negatively skewed distribution. I happen to know that's 70. And you want to add 1. You could also input 71, but just to keep the stages separate. So it's the maximum value plus 1 minus the observation. In this case, cell A2, the value of 30. And enter. And that's the log 10 transformation with the reflection. And I'm going to autofill this all the way down. I have 282 scores in that final exam, fictitious scores. And now I have the log 10 transformation for all those values. But skewness moved from negative 1.01 negative 0.83. Not a particularly large improvement, but it does pull the value so that it's or pull closer to zero, so that the absolute value of the skewness is less than one. So it, it makes the skewness acceptable. It's not ideal, but it's acceptable. And then I have another worksheet where I've run a histogram already using this new transformed final exam variable. Now these data are represented using the histogram feature in Excel. Again, I have separate videos that cover that. But you can see that this is the transformed distribution. And comparing that to the original negatively skewed distribution, you can see this is still negatively skewed but not to the same extent. So as you moved forward with the parametric statistic, instead of the original scores in this final exam variable, you would use the transform scores. I hope you found this video on data transformation for skewed distributions to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.